guys, it's Margaret and I'm really excited to bring this video to you today, especially for those of you who are doing Merch by Amazon or if you're waiting and you're trying to get in but you're using other print-on-demand sites, I think you're really going to enjoy hearing what this video is all about. So this video is sponsored by graphicstock.com. They are a website that has a video and photographs, vector images, JPEGs, all kinds of images that you can use royalty free on your print on demand um, merchandise, whether it's shirts or whatever. And when I was first contacted by them, I was really diligent in making sure that not only are they royalty free, but they are free to use in commercial um, projects because it's not always the same thing. So I went back and forth, I scoured the website, <laughs> probably harder than I should have because it ended up being right on the front page. But anyway, I made sure that yes, the images and the vectors and JPEGs and things there can be used for commercial use. The awesome thing about it is that you don't have to pay for individual images or individual pictures. Once you sign up for their membership, it is unlimited downloads for all of the images and, and everything. So that was one really cool thing because if you followed me for a little while and in the whole Merch by Amazon journey, you'll know that I've gone through different processes trying to find images, whether you know it's through open things that are in public domain or paying for images off of Etsy, and it can become pricey. Um, I, I did one a while back where I, I bought some images off of Etsy and then paying for the image and paying for the commercial. I mean, it was over $100 for maybe 11, 12 images. I think I ended up paying like 125 bucks. So, you know, and, and that's pretty standard out there if you're looking to pay for or get quality images and have commercial rights for them. I mean, it can range anywhere from 10 to 30 bucks. I mean, it just varies. So when I saw this, that they have over 30,000 graphics, photos, vectors, images that you can use unlimited downloads on, um, I was really interested because it, it was a great price. I mean, it's I think it's $99 or somewhere around there for, for a year subscription. And that's less than I paid for like 12 images. So I was really excited about that. Um, also, they are offering a seven day free trial membership where you can download 140 pieces of content, 140. So seven day free trial, go and check it out. All right, so I'm gonna link it up here and down below graphicstock.com slash YouTube so that you can get your seven day free trial and I'm going to go over and just show you what they've got, kind of what they um, have to offer, and then we're going to make a shirt with one of the images. Here we go. All right, so here is the landing page for Graphic Stock, and basically what you can do is go in and type in anything. And if you guys know, my guy, my little one loves pickles, so I think we'll make a pickle shirt in honor of my little fella. So let's type in pickle. <laughs> so it's pulling up all the different pickle stuff. Now, I didn't um, use any sort of filter, so it's pulling up photographs and just everything. So 159 results for pickles. Okay, so here's the pickles. Let's scroll and see what we can find. Here we go. This is a graphic of some different pickles. Now, as it shows up here, you see it's got the watermark and everything on it, but when you download it, it won't have that. Um, and then, let's see, does it give me any other options? No, okay. And I think I can, oh yeah, I can have a project folder. Fancy that, that's cool. <clears throat> Here we go. So it's showing that I already downloaded it because I, I was prepared, so I knew what I was looking for. But anyway, download the image. <clears throat> now, this is more like a photograph, but that's okay. Um, the only thing that I need to do because I'm going to need a clear background for my shirt is that I'm going to drop it into Lunapix and take the white out so that I have a, a PNG type file. So uh, if you don't know how to do that, I have another video where I show how to edit a shirt using Lunapix and PicMonkey and you can check it out there. But I've already done that for you so we could save some time. All right, so next thing I do, I am still learning uh, Illustrator. My husband's teaching me, but I, so I'm still designing in PicMonkey. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna go over to PicMonkey and get ready to create a design. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is drop in my picture and then we will go and add the words and everything to make it a cool shirt. So here are the pickles. Now I don't need all these pickles in my shirt. <laughs> I just want one. So I have to decide which pickle do I really want. I think I want this one over here off to the side. So I'm just going to erase the other ones. 
Okay, so now I've got my pickle all isolated and I just have to decide, you know, which way I want them to face. So I've got this way, I think I want them to go the other way like so. And I'm thinking of this, if you're familiar with merch, I'm using this um, 8x10 type template as the front of the shirt. So I'm kind of trying to imagine that and how big it's going to be and do I want it up high or not so high. So I'm putting it sort of in the middle. I want to make it a teensy bit bigger. All right, so now I've got my pickle tilted and just right where I want it, and I'm ready to add some words, and I think we're gonna say something like, bring on the pickles, just for fun. So we will add our text, and then we will change the font, something a little bit bolder, there we go, bring on. And then I just duplicated that so that I have the same font and size and everything, and I'll just type the next words over here. All right, so now I have my fonts, I have my words. I just need to place them around my pickle to make them look really good. So here we go. All right, so super easy. Downloaded the image, knocked out the background, took out the other pickles, popped it into PicMonkey, and boom, I've got a shirt ready to roll. So all I have to do left is, is decide, do I want to keep the font the same or keep the color in the font the same? Um, and again, make the background transparent. So for now, I think I'm going to leave this one black. I generally do both. I do, I'll do a black on white and a white on black. So I'll um, come over and make it PNG, make it background transparent, and save this out. Okay, so I have my beautiful images ready to go for my shirts. I have knocked out the back. I've got my dark on light, my light on dark ready to go. And I can always go back and play around with the fonts if I want to change those up. But I think they look okay for now. So yeah, again, let's take a peek at that graphicstock.com website. Okay, so let's say I want to use something like a tree in my in my shirt. Who knows? You know, maybe it's Arbor Day. So there are lots of different ones that I can choose from. So different colorful ones or just plain ones. There's lots and lots of things to choose from to incorporate into your designs. Okay, once again, I would like to thank graphicstock.com for sponsoring this video. Again, there's a seven day free trial where you can download 140 uh, images to use in your print on demand shirts or um, other items that you are doing print on demand for. So check it out. There's the link. It is graphicstock.com slash YouTube. It'll be up above. It'll be in the description box below. And I can't wait to find out what you think about it if you give it a try. Let me know and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so, so much. Bye.